Film is definitely the new poetry of our generation. You know, the Shakespeare's of the past, the great writers, if they were alive today, they would be making film. I've really worked very hard to gain a lot of opportunities within skiing, and it would be super useful and, and enjoyable for me to be able to include Sam in a lot of these projects, especially because he's such a great filmmaker. Well, I'm getting ready to go to Alaska. What do you know? Put him bottom frame. Nice, dude. That's pretty sick. <laughs> um, hey, Zach. I thought that it looks great, but does it look like you can get into your line pretty easily? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be just on my skier's left here, cut right into the little rocky chute, a straight line over the rocks, and I think once I make it to that spine, it's all game over. I think you meant game on. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> Drone is up, camera B is rolling. Zach, whenever you're ready. The difference between skiing for yourself and skiing in a film is, is fairly easy to explain. When you're skiing for yourself, you're, you're free. You're free to ski the best snow on the mountain. Yeah! Oh, yeah! When you're skiing for a film, you're strictly skiing in sunny pow, and that's where all the glory is, and it's also where the problem lies. Well, you need that perfect light for these guys and it's usually in the early a.m. Yeah. and the late evening and you you know you're getting on to really big extreme uh, Alaskan lines that have high consequence but they also need to look uh, pretty sexy to the filmer's eye the heat of the Sun can change the stability of the snow and change it rapidly just to confirm, you're gonna do the stuff in the sun, or I are think you the gonna... other option is getting into that Y and then going right, right? And so now the ski bum is forced to actually sell a part of himself. He's selling a little piece of his soul, and the price of selling that is to accept more risk. You're right, Zach. Like riding the spine down as far as you can go is kind of the doper shot for sure. The person running the camera also plays a pretty huge role in this. He's the one that's profiteering from the athletes accepting risk. And so in a way, he's accepting risk, but he's not accepting his own risk. It's important that the filmer is not telling the athlete where to ski. He's not telling the athlete when to ski or how to ski, because as soon as you start to push an athlete, you're now producing risk and basically you're putting yourself in a position to have a lot of regret. <laughs>